Desmond Lim, who is CFO of biotech company Tessa Therapeutics, and he joins us at the desk right here in Singapore. It's a pleasure to have you here, Desmond. Biotech, a very hot competitive area at this time, you might say, especially in the area of cancer therapies that you're looking at. Can you give us a better yes. idea of what it is specifically that you do over at Tessa Therapeutics? Sure. Nancy, thank you very much for having me on the show. Uh, allow me to introduce Tessa Therapeutics to both you and, and the audience. Uh, we are a clinical stage cell therapy company headquartered in Singapore, but globally focused on our trials, our science, and our operations. What we do is we develop treatments that activates the body's own immune system in the fight against cancer. How we do that is on our core technology platform by selecting the patient's own T cells, growing and activating them, the selection of the T cells, which in our case is the virus specific T cells, mm -hmm. our treatments have shown that they are efficacious, safe, and persistent in our patients, differentiating us uh, in the cancer challenge, uh, especially in solid tumors, which are the hardest, which we are in. In the clinical tests to date, yes. what have you learned in terms of success rate in the treatments for patients as opposed to traditional treatments such as chemotherapy? Well, it's hard to compare or talk about the other types of treatments, mm. uh, but what is important is that cell therapy and the broader space of immunotherapy brings a new, new toolkit mm. in the fight against cancer. Uh, we are showing in our trials uh, the safety profile and the efficacy profile that we're very pleased with. Talk to me a bit more about the costs involved with R&D. I know you must keep a very eye, close eye on the costs involved here. How significant is that in terms of the R&D budget? Is it something that you see increasing going forward as you do look to expand your pipeline? Uh, and, and certainly, actually, the cost and R&D and, uh, and financing of the company is certainly very close mm -hmm. to my heart as CFO of the company. And you're right, the, uh, the cost uh, is increasing. Uh, as we have more trials in the, uh, in the pipeline, as we advance our, our pipeline trial, uh, it's very important for us to focus and capital allocate uh, the, uh, the funding and the research into the right areas and the right therapies. And you have done some significant financing to help fund these areas. You have some That's big right. heavyweights supporting you, the likes of Tamasak right here in Singapore. That makes me wonder what the exit strategy is. Do you ultimately see this company headed for an IPO? Uh, we are very pleased by the, uh, the financing round that we closed earlier this year, uh, led by Tomasic. It was a $130 million financing round. Uh, we're well funded with that, with that round. Uh, we're uh, well funded to advance our clinical pipeline, but also to grow our manufacturing capability and capacity. Uh, in the future, I'll keep all of our options open, be it private or public, as we continue to advance our clinical trials. How expensive would this kind of treatment be for on the market? If I wanted to go with my doctor to receive this kind of treatment, do you have that indication yet? Uh, for Tesla Therapeutics, we, uh, we don't. It's, uh, we're still in the early stage in our, in our thinking process. Uh, we're still in the early uh, and, and late stage in phases, uh, phase two and three clinical development. So mm -hmm. it's not something that we've spent too much uh, time thinking on, but focusing on the, uh, the trials that we have on hand and moving into regulatory filing and approvals. Desmond, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to watching your progress over at the company. That is Desmond Lin of Tessa Therapeutics with us.